Hey, howdy everyone. Glad from the woods here at White Sands Campground. Tuesday, first full day here. Uh, been in a, kind of an eventful day. Uh, I went to go take the ATV off the back of the pickup truck and the pickup truck or the bike fell off the pickup truck and landed on its left handlebar side which of course promptly bent it and also smashed my little windshield <laughs> i'm not a happy camper but i mean what are you going to do um just guys give you guys a have a look here I had the uh, battery, I'm just charging the battery. I'm still not sure what's going on with the charging system. But yeah, I messed her up pretty good. She just rolled right off, I couldn't stop it. Uh, and she tipped and went right over on her side off the back of the truck. I couldn't even pick it up myself. I had, uh, there was a young lad that walked by here, just uh, right at timing and uh, he got, I, he'd give me a hand to tip it back over. So anyway, uh, that's what, you know, what are you gonna do? Um, <laughs> you know, so the result of all that is going to be over a $200 expense I didn't count on having for here. Um, plain, eh? Um, I had to order handlebars. Uh, they're hopefully will be in by the end of the week uh, at the uh, Advanced Marine in uh, Owen Sound, I think the name was. And uh, it was Sable Beach ATV guys here that gave me their number because they don't carry Yamaha parts and it has to be a Yamaha handlebar, I guess. So anyways, um, but they said they would put it, like change it over for me. It's about an hour's work and I don't have any tools for all that. So, um, <laughs> so by the time the handlebars are finished, then I gotta buy two hand grips because these ones here are my heat grips, but they glue them on so you can't take them off. So, you know, you try to take them off, you're just gonna tear them. So I had to buy two new hand grips. So uh, um, uh, they were $20 each. So it's 40 bucks, 80 bucks. There's 120, 110 for the hours labor at the, uh, the ATV cycle. So there you go. So what did I just say, 110? Uh, no, 120 and 110. So what is that? That's 230, 230 bucks with tax 250. So, you know, anyways, like I said, you just can't be pissed. What are you going to do? I mean, you know, I could sit here and scream, oh, or this, or whine and bitch moan out about it, you know, and the trip, uh, you know, the trip was over, you know. So, what? I, like I said, I, I went into town, and that's why I went and talked to the boys at the uh, ATV shop, and they got me all hooked up with this other place in Owen Sound, so, and they're going to fix the bike up. So, you know what, it's not that big a deal. I can concentrate on fishing you know for the next little bit which is just as one half dozen of the other kind of deal right so anyway uh um how many minutes i'm just trying to keep the minutes low because the uploads are slow I'm just firing up a coffee here um so i'll have the bike back I hope maybe the end of this week uh if things come in early or something if they don't well then the beginning of next week so that's fine so um you know that uh i the weather doesn't look good for the weekend anyway like friday saturday it looks like it's going to be one of these all day rain day kind of deals so unless it's just sprinkling here and there and uh you know then i might actually think about going to a walleye lake because it's when it's like that it's like hmm, you know when it's sprinkling on the water and everything i'm like that's uh, that's the time for, for me that's the time to be out so um catch good good size ones but i was saying before i'm not really here for walleye fishing i'm here for trout fishing but i don't want to go sit on georgian bay you know with rainstorms and stuff because it could change like instant oh, mosquitoes are starting up um it could change instantly right and i don't uh I haven't been back, you know, with the repairs to the boat and everything, I haven't been running it long enough to feel really confident that, you know, I can get back to shore before we start seeing, you know, three, four foot swells like, and that can come up real fast with the storms in the Great Lakes and Georgian Bay. So essentially Georgian Bay is another great lake. It's almost as big as Lake Ontario, I think, if I remember my, my things right, eh? So anyhow. So, uh, I've been working on editing and uh, just kind of relaxing, listening to music, smoked a doobie or two, 
And now I've gotten myself into putting uh, together my barbecue. Portable barbecue, I've been wanting to buy one of these for a while. Um, Dave's uh, Dave from Dave's RV Life, uh, he bought another kind, but I just saw all the different cooking he was doing with it. I had been dragging along my full-size barbecue from home, which was ridiculous. Anyway, it's a Martin. It's from uh, Amazon, but not a bad little unit for what it is. And it uh, takes the one-pound tanks, or I got the converter to put a 20-pounder on it, but... You know, I'm just going to be cooking like hamburgers on it there this this time that I'm here. So I didn't bring my like a little smoker, but I think I could actually smoke stuff in there. So we'll see. Um, it's 14,000 BTU. So uh, see, that's the nice thing about this is that it's it's small. I mean, for as a smoker would go, but I mean for small little batches. And then it's uh, hopefully you know you can keep her right down at uh, the right temperature. I'd have to see. But anyways, that's not what it's for right now. Um, so I'm in the midst of this, reading instructions, and uh, so the handle is the first thing I'm doing. But I uh, decided to get this all organized, and now I'm out, and I thought I would film with you guys for a few minutes uh, and have my coffee. So not having a microwave here is kind of a ballsy pain thing for me for the uh, coffee, because I like my coffee piping hot, but saying that, I have the problem solved. Whoops. It doesn't take long either. <laughs> I just cook it in this old glass thing that my mom gave. Like that's that's from the 60s, this thing. We had that. I remember when we were little kids, my mom had that thing making her uh, her eight o'clock coffee is what it used to be called. We used to get it at a place called AMP grocery store. So boy I'd give I'd give I wouldn't give money, but I would be like, wow, it'd sure be nice to have grocery stores like that again. The old school. Not these oversized things. And there was a lot more selection then, and everything seemed to taste better, too. But anyway, this is a great way to heat the coffee. And it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't take long. You can get her up to a boil, like, right quick, eh? So, it's actually faster than the microwave, if you can believe it. See how the smoke, uh, it's already, it's already bubbling. Any second here now and she'll just go off. <laughs> Works. I didn't bother bringing my 20 pound tank for all that I use this. And then the other thing, I got two one pound tanks. This one here is over three quarters full. I used it. I can't remember when. That's good enough. I'm not going to bring it up to a boil right now. You can hear it. Look at that. So... Anyway, uh, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to put this one up right away just to kind of jump around and keep up to date because I'm like, you know, I got all these road videos, but it's slow going here uploading. It's not as fast as I thought it was going to be, but I'm working with it and I'm changing the video lengths and the sizes. So, okay, everyone. So thanks for coming. Uh, you can check out the other videos too. Uh, um, you know, the portrait kind there. I have them on TikTok and on, uh, um, oh, they will be on Twitter. I haven't uploaded today on Twitter, but it's already on Instagram and Facebook and all that. So whatever one you pick or just stay with YouTube. The YouTube ones, I don't split in half. Like I've been putting those up at 13 minutes, like the first two of them, but I think I'm going to stop that because it takes too long to upload. So I don't feel like sitting in an internet cafe with all these other people around. So Sabo Beach was busy today. We I went when I came when I went into town and went to to the to the ATV shop to talk to them and then I, I I went and got firewood. Oh yeah, that's right. Shit. Okay. Video's not over. We'll end it at 10 minutes. So I got 50 seconds. So I picked up uh, about a, uh, a about a face cord and change for 150 bucks. It's almost all ash. Um, anyway, that's good enough. That'll be enough for the three weeks burning so i'll be having a campfire later and uh so yeah that wasn't a bad deal I, same guy i always go to um up on the highway so like between hepworth and sable beach that highway so he's a good lad uh, thrask is the fellow that owns the house so anyway um that's it so there we go uh, i'll be back uh, later with another update for this kind of video <laughs> Be good to your fellow human. Peace, live long and prosper. See you guys later.